you know, they say that the deepest hole that anybody's dug into, like in Russia, was something like 12 miles down. And then they can't go any deeper because all the, all the drill bits keep breaking and whatnot. And that tells me something. That tells me that they can't go any deeper than 12 miles because on the other side of that 12 miles begins the other side of the plane where you would end up digging in and literally pop. You can't do that because there's that barrier is unpen. You can't penetrate that barrier because it's like two universes. You understand me? This is literally like two universes. That's exactly what we're looking at here. There's two universes. It's one sun. That flat earth plane that we're on top of right now, there's an underside to it where there's perpetual twilight. And that is where the everlasting life is going to be found on the other side of that hole. When we go into that hole at the center of the dish where every compass points to, that's going to take us to the land of perpetual twilight. And in that land of perpetual twilight is the living waters that you would drink from that gives you everlasting life. When people go to church, you know, this is something that people, uh, for some reason, they don't understand what this word amen, you know, that comes from amen ra. And when you go into a church, you'll notice that any house of worship has stained glass windows on it. Doesn't matter what you're Jewish, doesn't matter what religion it is, you'll notice that there's stained glass windows there because they're blocking out the sun above your head so that every bit of your focus is, is placed onto the black sun. 